If this video helps you out in any way, shape, or form, dropping a like is hugely appreciated. And with that being said, I hope you enjoy today's video. Yo, how's it going everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up Roblox Account Manager and run multiple Roblox accounts at once. And every few months or so, Roblox Account Manager or Roblox will update and it'll make the setup process a little bit different. So today, hopefully I can show you guys how to set up everything and get it to run smoothly. Okay guys, so to start out, what we're going to do is we're going to right click on our desktop here, click new, and then go to folder. Once you guys are here, you can name this folder, whatever you want to name it, the name does not matter. I like to name mine RAM, short for Roblox Account Manager. And then we are going to open up any web browser. I like to use Google. The links will be in the description, but feel free to type along with me. And what we're going to look up is Roblox Account Manager, just like so. And then you guys will see this link here at the top from Oswolf. Go ahead and click that. It is a GitHub. Go ahead and click on that. And then on the right side here, scroll down a little bit and you will see Roblox Account Manager 3.6.1. Let's go ahead and click on that. And then you're going to scroll down here to the very bottom where it says Roblox Account Manager 3.6.1 zip. Go ahead and click on that. And that will start the download up here. So go ahead and minimize your browser a little bit so you can see this folder and drag it onto your desktop like so. You can also go into your downloads and drag it out like that. But now that we have this folder, we can go ahead and exit out of Google for now. And we have these two folders. We have the one we created and we have the one we just downloaded. So what we are going to do is open up this folder. When you open up, you're going to see this. Go ahead and click on this and click extract all. When you click extract all, you're going to browse on the folder that you just made on your desktop here. So for me, it is RAM and then click select folder and extract it all to the RAM folder, just like so. So once you guys have done that, go ahead and close out of everything. And you can now delete the folder that you downloaded. So go ahead and remove that. And now we have here, we have the RAM folder right up here at the top. You can see when we open it, it says Roblox Account Manager. So click on that. And right here is the Roblox Account Manager that we want. So let's go ahead and open that up. Just like so. And it's going to download all of this. And again, just wait for it and open it up again. Uh, for me, it's going to pull this up. RAM has detected you have a larger monitor than average if you guys want to click yes and that if your monitor is the same size as mine feel free but I always just click no and then it is going to pull this up please select how you want your data to be secured so default encryption means there's no password lock on it and then password lock means you have to put a password every time you get on your roblox account manager i believe i just like to do default encryption honestly um because i don't want to have to remember a password and then we are left with this right here. This is the Roblox account manager. So this is where we're going to start adding all of our accounts. Now you may be a little confused at the start, but it is okay. I'm going to show you everything you have to do. So in the bottom left corner, you can see add account. Let's go ahead and click that. And we're going to start adding in our Roblox accounts that we're going to want to use. When you pull this up, you're going to see this web browser here. Now I just want to let you guys know that this is Chromium. And a lot of people get nervous when they see this version of Chrome open. But I can assure you guys, after like two years of using this, I've never had any issues. Everything has been fine for me. So like I said, I consider it to be safe. But if you don't trust it, that is completely up to you. I'm not trying to make you download anything. I just want to show you guys how to do this. So with that being said, I want to go ahead and log into my accounts just like so. And then, of course, we're going to get another account in. Just to show you that we can run more than one at once. I'm going to go ahead and get this one logged in. So we are now officially done with the first step. Now what we are going to want to do is go into the settings of Roblox Account Manager. Now this is very important, so be sure to follow along here. Up here at the top where you see the settings wheel, go ahead and click that. And under general, you guys can see it on here, this multi-Roblox. Make sure this is turned on. By default, it is turned off. You're going to want to check mark that. Because that is the whole like entire way that you use multiple Roblox accounts. If that is not checked marked, then you cannot use more than one account at the same time. Now, another little thing that I would want to show you guys that I did not show last time is if you click here in miscellaneous, you can see this thing that says unlock FPS. Now, if we click that, what that is going to do 
is on this right side here you can up your fps if you're playing like a shooting game or something that you want more fps in or you can lower it where if you're running a bunch of accounts who afk it'll use less usage on your pc so for example if i put it on like you know 30 fps 20 10 the game is going to be laggy but it's going to use a lot less usage of my pc so if you have a lower end pc be sure to do this even if you have a higher end like my pc is you know pretty decent i'd like to turn this on and i put it on about 30 or 20 just so i can get the most um out of my roblox accounts without like making my pc run super hard so like i said you can lower it and you can run quite a bit of accounts so just keep that in mind but for now we're just going to uncheck that for the video's purpose so now in order to get into the game you guys can see at the top you have place id and job id starting off you're going to go over place id so what you're going to do is open up your web browser once you have that opened, you're going to go to Roblox. Once you guys are here, go ahead and log in and you're going to look for the game that you want to play. So we're going to be using two games for today's example. We're going to be using Rebirth Champions X and we're going to be using Planet Destroyers. Again, the game does not matter. It's whatever you're playing. So starting off, we're going to use Rebirth Champions X. Once you click on the game, you can see at the top this number here in the URL. So roblox.com slash games and then this number after the games double click on the number right click click copy and move this to the side and now you can see this place id what we're going to do is click on it and then click Control v on your keyboard to paste it in now while holding shift click on both of your accounts and click the save button here and now we need the job id so if you're not using a private server, you can just simply join now by clicking join server and you're good to go. But I'm sure most of you guys are going to be using a private server if you're using a bunch of accounts. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And there are two different types of private servers that I need to show you guys. Starting off with the Rebirth Champions X. So most of the older games, when you guys go down to the servers here, click configure. You can see that their server link. It's like private server link code equals and then all these numbers. If you have this link, this is really good because it is very simple. All you have to do is click copy and then go over here. Get on your account. And then click control V again under the job ID and click save. Just like so again, save both of these. Once you have it saved, you can now start joining your accounts. So we're going to go ahead and launch our accounts by clicking the join server button. And once this one loads a little bit, just wait, give it a second, let it load. Then click on your other account and click join server as well. And you guys can see that we have both of our accounts running on the same PC at the exact same time. So we're almost done with everything here. You guys can see we're running around in the same server. I can click over here, get on this account, run around. This is very, very useful for, like I said, AFK games or, you know, obviously if you're here, you know what the multiple accounts are useful for. And also, if you guys look at the top, you can see my eggs and everything. These are accounts that I actually use. So I didn't just make two random accounts to show you guys. Just to let you guys know that to make you feel a little bit more safe if you are nervous about any of this. So now that we have done this, I'm going to show you guys the new problem that most people are having. I will leave this timestamp down below for anyone that already knows how to use Roblox Account Manager, but they're having issues with restricted servers. So let's go ahead and close this, and I'm going to show you guys again, like I said, the new server that we were talking about. So for example, if you're playing a new game, kind of like Planet Destroyers is, you click on it, you go to Servers, go to Configure like I showed you earlier. You guys can see that the private server link here ends with top equals server. If your private link server ends with that, I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and just show you guys really quick what it would do. So, you know, let's say I wanted to get on my private server and I was putting that in. And don't forget to add the number as well. So if we put it in like this and then we click save and we click join, what's going to happen is, is when our account starts loading, it's going to say this experience is restricted. Now the, again, this is the issue most people are having. 
I myself included was having this issue for a while. I thought Roblox account manager was just done for for new games. But what you have to do, this is the fix for this, is you're going to open up a new tab and then you're going to copy. So for example, you know, configure, go back to the new game link, copy the link and then in the new tab, paste it into the URL, click enter. And once you enter it, let it load. And when you see all of this, go ahead and copy this entire URL, just like so. And now what we are going to do is we're going to put this into the private server. And this alone is what's going to make that issue we were having fix itself. So now if we save it, click join server, You guys will now see that it's saying waiting for and it is now joining our private server this again this is the issue the new thing that i was talking about in the beginning about how every few months something else happens where it messes something up this is the issue a lot of people are having so i just wanted to make a little updated thing for that before we go any further in the video something i'd like to show you guys really quick is that if you want to play two different games at the same time all you have to do is click on the account that you want to play a certain game right click go to groups Click move account to name this group name, whatever the name of the game is. This doesn't matter. It would just be more, you know, organized if you did that. So I'm just going to name it E for the sake of the video. You guys can now see that these games are now grouped differently. So again, like I said, let's say you wanted this game to play something else for this account. I should say what you would do is get on Roblox, find a game that you want to play. Look, let's say we're just going through here. We see anime sword fodder. We wanted to play that again just click on the game click on the number like i showed you guys earlier and we're not going to worry about a private server for this one so all you want to do is clear out what we had in here previously put in the place id and since we do not have a job id let's go ahead and save and now we can click join server on this account So this will load in and then let's say we wanted to AFK our other account while it is AFK we can click on it go ahead and join this and you guys can now see that we have two different games running on the same PC we are playing both of them at the same time and we are in two different areas now, if this does have the private server, all you would do is just do the method I showed you guys earlier for the private server and everything will work perfectly just like that. So now that you guys know everything you need to know about setting up your Roblox accounts and running multiple accounts at the same time, I now need to show you guys how to use an auto clicker in order to keep them from getting closed after 20 minutes. I'm sure you guys have seen that before where it says your Roblox account has been idle for 20 minutes. You have been kicked. So what we're going to want to do now is open up another web browser here at the bottom. Type in GS Auto Clicker, just like so. And then down here at the bottom, make sure you click the Softonic one. Again, the links to this will be in the description. So go ahead and click on that. Wait for the screen bar here to load. Click on it. And then again, wait for the screen bar once again to finish loading. And it's going to say your download has started. So it's going to say up here, unverified download blocked. Again, click it, click download unverified file. And now open up your downloads and drag this onto your screen like so. And we can now close Google. We are now officially done with it. So go ahead and do that. And once you open it up, you guys are going to see that it will say, it'll show this right here. So what you're going to want to do to set it up to make it work properly, click options, go to clicking, then options again. And it's going to pull this up. Make sure that click is set to double. This is very, very important. And click OK. Click Options, Porting. I'm sorry. Clicking, Repeat. When you click on Repeat, make sure you click Repeat until stopped. Again, very important. And this right here is how fast it is clicking between. So as long as it's like, you know, you could do like 20 milliseconds. Uh, I normally just keep mine at 100 if you want it to be faster to get more taps you know you can make it lower but the higher it is the less usage on your pc is going to be using 
So you can keep it default or you can make it faster again. This doesn't really matter as long as it's clicking more than once every 20 minutes. That is very important. So I'm just going to keep it at default. And now let's see anything we missed. So for the hotkey, just a few tips. If you want a different hotkey to click. So for example, it's F8 now. I like to change this to if it will let me change it. Uh, settings, hotkey. I like to change mon out to this right here. Sorry, it's been a minute since we've done all the setup for this. We've had it for quite a while. And now that is my initiate key. And then whenever you want it to turn off, you would just click it again. So let's go to get our accounts up and running. Once again, for the last time here. And I'll show you guys a way to save some screen space as well. So if you guys take your account and pull them up into the corner, like so, of your monitor screen here. And then load up your other account. This is how I like to stack up my accounts when I do AFK them for a while here. So take this account and line it up to the border of those three dots there. It'll give you just enough room. Okay, it's saying restricted because I forgot to remove this again. That is my bad. Let's try that again. There we go. We are now joining. Like I said, that code is pretty annoying. I'm glad that there is a fix to it though. But anyways, you guys can see now we are on both accounts. They're both loaded. And what you're going to want to do is click options, recording, multiple clicks. When you click that, this right here will come up. Make sure you check mark record and replay multiple clicks. Click pick point and you're going to click in the bottom down here. And click pick point again and then click the bottom down here again. And once you have everything set up like I have showed you, go ahead and click your hotkey that whatever you have set up to make it click. And you guys can see that it is clicking back and forth just like it's supposed to. And as long as you set everything up correctly, you can now AFK any game you want without being kicked with as many accounts as you want. So again, guys, that is going to be it for me. I hope this video has helped. And again, like I said earlier, if it did, please drop a like. It helps tremendously. And with that being said, I will see you all in the next one. Later.